very interesting book. An elephant, 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 an awkward, so awkward, literally in my life. Anytime a boy's around, I'm like, shmer, what, what is talking, what is anything, I don't know, because I'm awkward. I'm gonna sound really cocky, but she's like awkward and, and witty and like hilarious, and I'm just, <laughs> me, me. I need an Etienne Sinclair in my life. I need one. Like, now. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with a review for all of you, so I'm super excited to talk about this book. So without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> so the book that I'm going to be discussing with y'all today is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This is literally the perfect YA contemporary book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I'm obsessed with it. It might even be as good as The Duff. And like, if you've watched my videos for a while, this is a big deal for me to say that The Duff is anywhere close to any other book in the entire world because The Duff is my life. So this is like, this is like history in the making, people. History in the making. So first I'm just gonna give a little summary and then I'll talk about the characters and then what I thought. This book is about a girl named Anna Oliphant. I'm gonna hope that's how you say her name. I don't know. Banana Elephant. We'll call her that from now on, Banana Elephant. If you read the book, you know what I'm talking about. So Anna's about to start her senior year of high school in Atlanta, Georgia. Everything in her life is going perfectly. She has a great job at a movie theater, a amazing best friend named Bridget, and a crush that could possibly turn into more. Obviously, when her parents break the news that she is going to move to Paris for her senior year and attend a boarding school there, she is less than ecstatic. That is, until she meets a very attractive English boy named Etienne St. Clair. So when she finds out that he has a girlfriend named Ellie for about a year and a half now, she is not exactly the happiest. Basically, this book follows Anna for her senior year through Paris and her feelings for St. Clair and how the, all of that develops. Alright, I don't want to hold the book anymore because it's getting heavy and I'm lazy. So now I'm going to talk about a couple of the characters. First off is Anna. I loved her. She is such a good character. I found her so relatable and she's like literally me. She is hilarious and witty and sassy and awkward and everything that I am. I mean she's kind of whiny at times which is slightly annoying but what are you gonna do? You know everybody has their flaws but her one-liners are perfection so I forgive you Anna. Anna has major character development in the book and I absolutely loved how that unfolded. It was perfection. Oh and another thing Anna why are you complaining you're in Paris? That's like my life dream. I want to go to Paris so badly. So the fact that you're spending an entire year in Paris, like, I'm sorry, what? Why are you upset? I get that you have to leave all your friends and stuff, but honestly, like, Paris. Can, can we just Paris, Anna, Paris? I will trade places with you any day. Any day. Next up is St. Clair. Etienne, St. Clair. My life. My honey bunch. My sweetie pie. My, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. That's it. Swoon. Like, majorly swoon. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate St. Clair? St. Clair is literally everything a girl could ask for in a guy. Like, major swoon. Major swoon. I'm obsessed. He's funny and witty and sarcastic and charming and cocky, but not in the, like, jerk way. Like, in a good way. And the way he stands up for Anna and the way he shows his vulnerable side is just perfection. I'm in love with him and he's cute and like the only thing that I don't like about him is that he's short. If he was tall, that would be perfection because I'm tall so like it would be like the perfect boy all wrapped into one. I absolutely loved the banter between him and Anna. It was hilarious. I was sitting on the go train laughing out loud and people were staring at me like I was crazy but I was like, read the book, you'll understand. It's perfection. They're hilarious. Next up is Amanda. I hate Amanda. She's literally the evilest human being in the entire world. Like, why are you so mean just because he doesn't like you, girl? Maybe it's because you have a shitty personality and a cold heart. I'm just saying. Nobody likes you. That's it. That's my rant on Amanda. I hate you. Next up is Meredith. I absolutely love Meredith's character. She is so cute and so nice to everybody. Like, even when people were mean to her, she was still the perfect specimen of a person ever. I loved her. I thought she was an amazing friend to Anna on her first day when she was upset, and I thought she was such a good addition to the story, and I wish that Stephanie Perkins would write a book about her and her life, because I would buy that in a second. Josh is St. Clair's best friend. He is awesome. I loved his character. He wasn't in the book a lot, but... I really enjoyed the parts where he was in the book 
He seems like a super cool guy. Rashmi, I understand why she was frustrated throughout the entire book because Ellie's a bitch and I don't like Ellie. Which leads me to Ellie. I don't like Ellie. So now my overall thoughts on the book. I loved how the characters were relatable and flawed and just they were all so well developed and written and I loved every single one of them perfection. Even Amanda, even though I hated her, I loved her at the same time because she was evil. It was great. I thought the book was very well written and very well constructed. I really liked the pace of it and how everything unfolded. I loved the setting of the book because Paris is my dream destination. I want to be there so badly. So the fact that the entire book took place in Paris was perfect for me. I loved the friendships between all the characters. Josh and Rashmi being together was amazing. Meredith was amazing. St. Clair and Anna's relationship, friendship thing that was going on, I just loved it because it was literally my life. Literally everything that has been my life for the past year. So it was really good. And their ending is literally my life now. So I'm very excited. It was so relatable. It was so relatable. The sense of humor in this book and the one-liners was everything I could always want for in a book because it is literally right up my alley. So funny. I really enjoyed how it wasn't an insta-love and how everything wasn't focused on the lovey-dovey romance part of it. There was also deeper issues that were brought up and developed the characters more and made the story so much more enjoyable than most YA contemporaries. So good on you Stephanie Perkins, good on you. Okay, so the stuff I didn't like about the book. The whole cheating aspect thing, I can't deal with that because I just, I don't like it. I don't think it's acceptable and I understand that St. Clair was all like not wanting change and all that but like come on man like as soon as you started having feelings for another person you need to like break that off and figure that out just saying. The book was also pretty predictable but I honestly didn't care because I loved every second of it. I couldn't put it down. It was such a good story. And I felt that the ending was a bit rushed, but I also really liked the ending. So pretty much all of my cons, except the cheating thing, are kind of pros at the same time. So overall, 5 out of 5 stars. Amazing book. Read it if you haven't read it already. It is so good. Seriously. I'll wait for you to run to chapters and get it. I'll wait. I'll just, or Barnes and Nobles, or Amazon, or anywhere. Just go find the book. It's so Okay, so yeah, that was my review of Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so excited to find a copy of Lola and Isla. I need to find it ASAP because I feel like I'm going to love it. Leave your comments down below if you enjoyed it or didn't like it, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Which Ian St. Clair, who is the perfect boy in the entire world, and she's like, oh wow, this guy is super cute. Oh wow, I kind of like him. Oh wow, he has a girlfriend. Girlfriend. A girlfriend. Yes. Get your shit together, Anna. Get it together. I'm like the queen of sarcasm. So somebody who can like go back and forth with me, literally perfection. Like, St. Clair, bring it to me. Love me. Be mine, please. Forget Anna, she's not worth it. Get some stilts or something. Come on. You have one job. That's to be mine. So grow. Thank you.